there's always this um, association between the unicycle and the circus, and I couldn't be farther from being a performer. I like to pursue it for sport. You know, we started trail riding. So once you get the hang of riding on the road, it gets monotonous. You get on the trail, and it's just so much more satisfying. We're just a bunch of guys that really enjoy mountain unicycling. It's a very, very inefficient way to get around the woods. You're working for every inch. Yeah, you have to continuously be aware of every bump so that you can account for it. After a while, you get a sense of what rocks you could actually ride over. You start pushing that further and further. So Bryce is a big, strong guy and rides big, strong ways. It's like a big chunk of meat running down the road. Jack is amazingly fast, um, flies all over the place. I think I like to push myself by committing to speed. So it can go poorly very quickly, but more often than not, it works out. <laughs> Monty, he actually hasn't been riding that long. We called him Superman for a while, because the way he would fall, which was all out. I was close to being on my face. And then me, um, I like going random ways off-road. I love going down steep things. I like going through stuff that doesn't look like you can ride through. It's like the sound of like 10,000 knuckles being cracked at the same time. Keep it up. You got it, Russ. You got it, buddy. This is a unicycle. It's special because of the size of the tire and the amount of air that can be put into that. Fat tire is nice. Goes over rocks, sticks, mud, goo, sand. The handle is very important. It helps to anchor your feet into the pedals. It's got brakes, these are hydraulic. So unicycles do not coast. When you stop pedaling, the wheel stops. Okay, so mounting a mountain unicycle, you wanna make sure that your pedals are in the right spot. So you wanna give yourself a pedal that when you push down on it, it pushes the unicycle back underneath you. When I was in college, a group of us all kind of learned how to unicycle together. We did get to the point where we were riding all over campus, you know, we'd ride to class, and it got a lot of attention, maybe not what we were looking for. I could ride a unicycle since I was 12, 40 years from today. I was ridiculed as a kid uh, because of it. I mean, you know, kids find different things to pick on other kids about, and I didn't care, it was my thing. I go to work on my unicycle, I work at a federal facility, and park it right out front. Everybody knows who I am. I learned later in life. The hardest thing is, is 10 hours of, of failure, uh, falling on your face, literally uh, for 10 hours. It's a challenge. On a unicycle at the very last minute, you might get turned the wrong direction. Or worse yet, your pedal's not in the right spot. All of those things have to come together. And when they do, it's great. And when they don't, you fall. If you're not falling, you're not doing it right. It's a certain type of person that that tends to ride a unicycle. You've got to be not afraid to look stupid and not worry about what people think of you. The group that I ride with, we do it just because we love it. It's the thrill and excitement of doing something that you didn't know you could do. But you know, once you kind of get the hang of it, it's really not a whole lot harder than riding a bike. All Points Project is a part of Seeker Stories, a channel that features short documentaries from around the globe. Be sure to watch our video on Thailand's bicycle revolution. I was racing through traffic. This car was right in front of me and it had a metal cage around it. My head went right onto the cage, like, bah! New episodes every Tuesday. Please subscribe.